Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, to, we are going to discuss about ribs and spine anatomy. Let's start. Ribs look like a case, so it is also called as rib case. Rib, case, rib consists of 24 bones. Here you can see the numberings and 12 pairs, 24 bones and 12 pairs, which helps in the protection of internal organs like heart and lungs. In the back side, it consists of vertebral column. Here you can see, I am showing here very clearly. See the cursor mark and front, it consists of a sternum. This part is the sternum and it is present between the neck and abdominal region. Rib case divided into the three parts, true ribs, false ribs, floating ribs. Here you can see from 1 to 7 is true ribs and 8 to 10 false ribs and 11 and 12, 12 pay. These two last two pairs are floating ribs. These floating ribs are not attached to the sternum, attached to the vertebral column and these are true ribs and false ribs are attached to the sternum. Let's see about the sternum. This is the sternum. We will discuss in there. Sternum is a flat and elongated tie shaped bone. It is located in the center of the chest and which is just uh, attached to the true, lip, true and false ribs. And sternum is divided into the three parts. Here you can see manubrium, body, zephoid process. Now let's see about the spinal cord also called as vertebral column is a long curved rod present on dors dorsal side of the neck and trunk. It is about 45 centimeters long in males and about 43 centimeters in females. Spinal cord is composed of 33 bones which is divided into the 5 sections or 5 parts. Cervical spine 7 bones and thoracic, lumbar, sacrum and coccyx. Cervical spine. It has seven bones. It is located below the skull and it is neck part. Here you can see C1 to C7 and the C1 is also called as atlas and C2 is called as axis. Between the skull and atlas is called atlanto-occipital joint and between the C1 and C2 is called atlantoaxial joint. It helps in the protection of a spinal cord and supporting the head and its movement, facilitating the flow of blood to the brain. Thoracic bone, thoracic, sorry, thoracic spine. Thoracic spine is the longest region of the spine located at the chest region, which is ribs are attached to the thoracic spine. It is starts from the T1 to T12. Last two pairs of the ribs attached to the thoracic. It helps in the support to, to the rib case. This thoracic spine also called mid back. Lumbar spine or lumbar section which is located lower back region or belly region. It is labeled from L1 to the L5. Functions of the lumbar spine supporting and stabilize the upper body, control leg movements and helps in the movement of the trunk in various directions. It helps to the pain relaxation of the backbone or trunk. And it is, is the weight bearing section of the spinal column. Sacrum spine or sac sacrum section located basal level of a spinal column and last to second part of the spinal cord. It is bony plate at base of the vertebral column. It labeled from S1 to the S5. The pelvic is connected to the spinal column at sacrum section. Here you can see the labelings. Total five bones are fused. Coccyx. This is located at the last part portion or last section of the spinal cord. It is also called as the tile bone. It looks like a triangular in shape. It has four bones. 
Here you can see the four bones are fused together. Functions of a spine. It protects the spinal cord. It carries the weight of the body during motion and standing. It provides the flexibility to the body. Cervical vertebrae allows the free movement of the body. Sacrum spine helps in the movement of the trunk. Thanks for watching. Please comment below for what you are looking. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.